Good afternoon. We are on Saturday, the 15th of October, 2022. I've just checked with my book what I am recording. I am going to record for the 13th, because I'm so far behind, the Holy Spirit meditation. I'm going to work through them today, hopefully, and not be so... I'm always getting behind. <laughs> I don't know what goes on, but something does. People. <laughs> but you have to put people first. <laughs> so I'm going to begin with one or two prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And prayer to the Holy Spirit. Veni Creator. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne. Come, take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the Paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. All glory to the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, great Paraclete, while endless ages run. The Meditation For the thirteenth is taken from Proverbs 1 verse 22. How long, O oh you simple ones, will you love inanity? And how long will you reject my reproof? The reflection. The Holy Spirit at times consoles us, but at other times the Spirit challenges us. This is true love, for one does not allow those whom one loves to continue in their error without trying to bring them around. People might not always accept our reproofs but the spirit impels us to be honest with them the prayer is this particularly for me give me the courage holy spirit to be honest with those who have lost their way that's important and it's very difficult it is very difficult to do that with someone you love someone you've been extremely close to in the past and you believe rightly or wrongly but something inside you makes you believe 
that they're not right with God. You can't put your finger on it because outwardly everything seems okay. But you know through the Holy Spirit in you that everything is not as it seems to be. And at some point you have to challenge them because their soul for eternity might need re a reproof because you believe that they can't be right with God because of something that, you, that is known to you, not everyone. And at some point you will have to challenge the person you love to have that conversation. It's not going to be easy, but you need the opportunity. And if they're not giving you the opportunity, it's really difficult to have that conversation. But you ask God to intervene and you keep asking the Holy Spirit to give you that opportunity to have that conversation. Because they might be avoiding being alone with you or giving you any opportunity through any, any media to talk with them, to openly say, well, if you're not right with me, how are you right with God? That's very difficult because God treats us all equally and fairly. So it's worth praying about if you have one of those issues. And it may take years, but you don't give up. You keep praying, waiting on God and waiting for God to give you that opportunity to have that conversation. But sometimes it needs to be had and they're not giving you it. But God will one day, because things change. Anyway, thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace and Holy Spirit in abundance. And have a blessed Holy Weekend. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing. God bless.